So you've just got a new energy efficient furnace. Great. You're saving money and the planet, right? But that furnace is in the basement. And if your basement floods, you're not saving any money. And you're not heating your house anytime soon either. So while it's important to invest in an efficient furnace, it's also important to protect that investment by making sure your basement doesn't flood. Which is why it's time, the perfect time, for a tiny explanation of how to prepare for Edmonton's changing precipitation. In the future, Edmontonians should expect different precipitation patterns with wetter springs and winters and drier summers. In any given year, we might get more heavy rain events, but we might also have more drought conditions. So, what do we do? Let's start from the bottom. To stop your basement from flooding during heavy rain events, you should make sure you've got a backwater valve and a sump pump. A backwater valve stops water from coming in from the sewer when the system gets overwhelmed. A sump pump removes water that's already gotten into your basement. Sump pump is also fun to say. Sump pump. These are two small expenses that could save you a lot down the road. And in case all of this fails, it's a good idea to keep valuables in waterproof containers and keep them off the floor. And to make sure that your insurance policy is up to date. Moving on, let's take a look at things you can do outside of your home. It's important to make sure your landscaping slopes away from the house so that water doesn't pool by the foundation. And make sure that your eaves and downspouts are in good working order, draining away from your house and your neighbors. You can also use rain barrels to capture the water from those downspouts and then use it to water your garden later during drier weather. That's free local water for your free local food. Doesn't get much better than that. It's also worth looking at more drought resistant plants that will do better in our future climate. You want to look for plants that fit our new plant hardiness zone. Zone 4A, but who's counting? This is especially important for trees and other perennials that will live for years to come. Think of the bees too. Always be thinking of the bees. Whether you're working on the inside or outside of your home, these projects are affordable ways of making your home and your yard safer, more resilient places. And by planning ahead, you can combine these projects with other necessary renovations, efficiency upgrades, or landscaping projects, and make your home more livable, efficient, and resilient all at the same time. This has been a tiny explanation of how to prepare for changing precipitation. To learn more about preparing your home for climate change, visit climateresilienthome.ca. And to learn more about taking action on climate change, visit changeforclimate.ca.